What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? My name is Equal Espresso, and today I'm here talking to you guys about Call of Duty Apocalypse, the new Black Ops DLC. But today I'm really just going to be focusing on Zombies Origins. And I know this is going to be something a lot of people are doing for their videos, it's breakdowns and all that, but I'm not going to really do it in that same type of manner because honestly, if it was me, I would be tired of seeing that many videos up in my sub boxes, the same exact thing. But today I'm just going to talk to you a little bit about Origins and where I think it's going, where I think it's going to be coming from, and some things about it. But before we go on, I want to make sure that every single one of you understands the meaning of zombies, what it actually is, the storyline behind it. And if you don't know much about it, I really suggest you head over to playthegame.co. It is a great forum site and great community that has YouTube, Facebook, and Twitter that they discuss zombies on, and they actually know a lot of this stuff from Ben, one of the admins on the site. And if you do a little digging, it's clear as to why he knows all this. But regardless, Zombies Origins is the end as well as the beginning which is the sequel to the end which is a prequel to the beginning now if that doesn't make any sense to you in essence it's a paradox it's a loop it's something that is never ending and if you think about it there are multiple paradoxes within the paradox of a storyline that zombies is we want to talk about it we can have call of the dead Mob of the Dead, and even Shangri-La, they're all paradoxes within themselves. Let's think of it this way, if it wasn't a paradox, something that was made up, why wouldn't it just end? And the logical explanation for when it would end would have been on Moon, whenever the world was destroyed, whenever you literally have no hope, whenever you're stuck on Moon at the end of Black Ops 1. But instead of ending it, they made it a loop, they made it buried the last stop for our transit crew where you actually were the ones to bring out Maxis or Richtof and deciding on which end game you decided to do but this is where the loop starts where we go back to La Tomba in France where the actual story starts over again and it's an ever ending loop and now for those that are just going to be like well it's the start it's the very beginning of where these characters came from well yes in essence but if that were the case, why do they not remember a thing the entire way through? Why is it just that they have no recollection of the past at all? And the only one that really even does is Nikolai on his wives, but that's really just insults in-game that you hear from him. And now here's where the general thinking of it, because if it's a paradox, maybe it's just an outside story. Maybe it's something that's used not only as a survival method, but just something to scare children, maybe. And yes, I expect to get some comical jokes out of it, but at the same time, if you think about it, look at any children's story. It's used to teach them a lesson, to keep them occupied, and to scare them off from doing something. In this case, if it is written by, say, Dr. Maxis, it could keep Samantha out of his hair. It could keep her away and out of harm's way from his work. And there's another thing that I really actually expect to happen. I expect people to be like, oh, that's not the case. Maxis isn't the writer. Samantha's not the one being told this story. But that even though that is the case in the zombie storyline, I'm giving this as sort of an example to show you what I mean by that. So in essence, Zombies is a story within a story. It's something that I don't know if I'm excited about, happy about, or a little bit disappointed about. It's maybe honestly probably a combination of a little bit of all of that, but it's something that we've come to know and love over the past six years or whatever it is since World at War has been out. It's something that has kind of defined Treyarch games, and it's something that we've all come to love. It's something that is, at least in my case, something that I look forward to every other year with Call of Duty releases. Now, if you follow the zombie storyline at all, I want to hear what you guys have to say in the comment section down below. I, there's a lot of stuff that I am still not well versed on. I've been getting into looking deeper into zombies a lot more recently, but again, I'm no expert still. I'm by far no expert. I just love it. It just intrigues me. So I read into it. And if you guys have anything to comment to Towards this, be sure to. I just want to do something a little different because normally breakdowns, in my opinion, aren't that great. I don't find them that entertaining. So I decided to bring a little personal aspect into it where it's something that you're going to see anyway. It's something that's the closing chapter in Zombies. But Zombies is going to be back. It will be, and I can almost guarantee that. So take care and have a nice day, guys. I'll see ya.